Hey guys, it's Aaron. So there's a video coming out at the end of this week from Matthew Nichols, and he's going to talk about his massive model of ancient Rome. He actually went through and created an enormous model of ancient Rome for, for the school he works at. So I'm, I'm not going to hold much more of that. He's going to talk about that, and I will just sound dumb if I try to talk about that. So I'm going to try to talk about sketch up and sound less dumb. Um, one of the things he's really touching on is how he works with such a massive model, because it is really big. It's huge. You'll see it. It's an amazing model that he's created. Uh, so I wanted to touch on a couple things. I don't want to steal his thunder at all, but as I watched his video, there's a couple tips that, that I hit on that I went, I got to try that. So I did a couple, and I'm going to just kind of throw the top three or four things that you can change, not actually changing your model, so not actually going through and modifying how you model, but just performance tweaks you can do to sketch up to make it handle a little bigger model a little bit better. So we're going to breeze through a couple of these right now. All right, so I have a fairly big model here. This is it's actually a single model I downloaded and then copied three times. So <laughs> kind of made this into a, an island rather than a peninsula that it was before. Um, but you can actually see as I model around here, it's doing that jerking thing where it's kind of stuttering as I animate or as I orbit. So we're going to see if we can maybe clean up some of that stuff. So there's a handful of things I want to look at. Some of them are pretty basic. Some of them we've covered before. Just real quick, if I come up to window and model info, I can come to statistics and this is where it's going to give me the information about this model. So you can see this is just over 2 million edges. Uh, closing in on 600,000 faces. So it's a decent sized model. And the first tip right here, of course, is purge unused. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Purge unused is going to get rid of all the unused stuff, colors, components, layers, anything that's uh, slowing this model down, we're going to pull out of there by running purge unused. That's step one. Also in model info is a little bit of information about rendering. So right here, um, anti-alias textures is actually going to make these textures maybe look a little better on the screen by smoothing them, but it does possibly slow down the rendering process. So if we turn use anti-alias textures off, you can see we definitely take a hit. I mean, it's, it's not, not as good a looking model as it was before, but hopefully when we're done, this will mean a quicker model. And that's really what we're looking at right now. Okay, so that's it in here. A couple more changes are here under preferences. So on Mac, I'm going to go to SketchUp Preferences. On Windows, this is under the Windows menu. I'm going to pull up preferences. This is preferences for how SketchUp is going to run. This isn't specific to this model. This is all of SketchUp. So you do want to be careful when we change these things because this will affect every model. So if we look in OpenGL, here's the two things I want to look at. Fast feedback and most especially use maximum texture size. A lot of times use maximum texture size is turned on and that's usually good. If I have a, a decent, a normal size model, uh, this means it's going to use a texture as big as it can get on the screen. If I turn use maximum texture size off, SketchUp's actually going to cap the file that it brings in. So it's only going to bring it into a certain resolution. So what that means is some of these images that I have in here may end up getting kind of blurry compared to how they were before, but that's actually okay because again, I'm trying to get the most performance out of here rather than the best looking uh, model. And this, this checkbox is right now. So this is saying, is it going to use the maximum texture size right now or not? So that means I don't, it's not like as I import, it's going to import a different texture size. It's actually just saying what's it going to show on the screen. All right, so we've kind of optimized SketchUp as best we can right now, but still not great. So I'm still seeing some delay in my zooming. Um, I got my components being replaced by the little black boxes. So definitely know this isn't working as best it could right now. So there's a couple more things we can do just to fine tune how this is displayed. One is face type. So right now we obviously have textures turned on because we're seeing 
those uh, textures on the buildings, we can actually turn that off. So if we go to shaded, that's going to give us just that uh, single color appearance rather than showing us those entire uh, images for the faces. So it's already getting a lot smoother. The couple changes we made definitely made this smoother than it was before. I'm going to make one more change and that is over here in styles. If I look at styles, this is a big one. So, you know, we come into styles, we have our standard styles here. I want to click on edit. In edit, I just want to look at lines, that the uh, our edges. So in edges, one of the big ones that's turned on here is profiles. Profile is the thing that gives SketchUp that SketchUp-y look. You know, the outside edges of things are heavier than the inside edges. That's a great look. It looks awesome, but it does take extra processing to draw those, differentiate and draw those two lines differently. So turning profiles off is actually going to give us a huge boost of performance. Once I do that, I'm actually swinging this around. This is, this is pretty uh, smooth right now. And you'll see as I'm zooming in and out, I'm not losing components. I'm not getting those little black boxes showing up. Those show up when I'm asking too much of SketchUp and I can't draw to the screen the components are in the model. So it temporarily puts those black boxes in showing where components are. So you can see those handful of changes to SketchUp. Again, I didn't change anything in the model. We didn't talk about modeling practices with components versus groups versus loose geometry. No layers are turned off. No sections were cut. Just those couple of changes to settings have made this model far more usable than what I saw before. Now this doesn't mean you can't use those, you know, obviously there's a reason I have those images imported and the anti-aliasing and profiles are something that I want to use and that's perfectly fine. This is an opportunity for you to optimize your model while you're working on it. And you can always come in, so if I want to get my, my final shot of the city in here like this, I can come into this view and then go turn those options off when I actually am ready to generate output. So hopefully that is a couple of good tips for you. Like I said, I really didn't want to steal Matthew's thunder. Um, his, if you work with large models of any kind, so any kind of city, uh, landscape, um, urban planning, anything like that, check out his session on Friday because it walks through not just some fine tuning like this, but how to actually go about modeling. What do you include? What do you not include? How much detail? He goes into all that stuff in great detail. So come back, check that out. If you did like this video, go ahead and hit like down below. If you want to get notified when Matt's video is up, hit subscribe. They will notify you when that and future videos come out. Most importantly, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. If you have any tips and tricks for using big models, let us know what they are. Let me know if I missed something. Like making these videos, like it a lot more when we're showing something that you want to see. Thank you.